I could just listen to y'all talk forever. Um, <laughs> but uh, seriously, we, I think like, we've had like 21 enrolled and, and it's not something you can do for yourself. I know by yourself, I know uh, uh, I enrolled 20, in a, but, but Sue did get one. So we're doing it together. Uh, <laughs> seriously, and you know, I'm kidding. But um, seriously, um, all we did, and I just want to be full disclosure here how that happened. Because um, in this industry, when I first got in this industry years ago, it was pretty much, you know, you go out and make your list and go out and recruit people. And, um, and I think most people, when they see the big time earners, they just assume there's only one way to do this business. And so what Sue and I approached this years ago from a different perspective said, what if you ran your network marketing type business like a traditional business? So in a traditional business, give me an example, we have a promotion we do at Sundays each year around September, and it's called 100 Days of Tanning for a Dollar. And of course, that's a, definitely a big money loser on the surface, but we, it's sort of like, once you experience this, there's a chance we'll win your business. That's the whole goal. We got a hundred days to win your business. And so we have certain clients, I can pull up a name right now, where during that hundred days per dollar, they joined, spent money, referred others. And like I, I looked one person up earlier, they've already meant about $2,800 to us. Then I've got another person who paid us the dollar, brought their own goggles in or eyewear and it's not did and use this about 45 times in that 100 days so we probably lost you know 30 40 dollars on and they never bought anything right so now if this was a network marketing business the way i approached it many years ago i'd be spending the equal amount of time with each one i'd be like well she's my friend too got to spend time with her she's got a phone call i got to talk to her for an hour but in a traditional business i wouldn't traditional business with no this if i have too many of the, her customers, her customers like her, I'm out of business and I can't help anybody. So I've got to really champion the ones that are championing me and helping our business grow because that, because of that kind of customer, I can add newer equipment, better value, and that everybody wins. And so we approach network marketing the same way. We off, offer the opportunity to anybody, but over time they're going to raise their hand and say, hey, I'm serious about building this or I'm not serious. And if they're not serious, we still, you know, get on all the calls, do anything we can, but we're not going to spend a lot of individual time because when you're younger, it's all about money. You know, just got to make more money, more money. But as you get older, money is trumped by time because time is that finite resource. We can't make any more of it. And for anybody who's lost a loved one or had lost their health, they realize money is a pale second to your health or to, you know, life itself. So now it's about what can we do to create more time? And so that's where you leverage with people and leverage your business like this is what's so nice is we can build that leverage income or that residual income. So what we did is we have customers, thousands of customers come in every day and nobody, none of those customers really join M and we're like, you know, why is that? Well, we all know is no conversations are taking place, right? No, they're not really being asked or if they are asked, they're asked in a way, like, just like if you were to go out and ask somebody, you need to get in this business, you'd be great at it. And they can tell that, you know, you're trying to make money off of me is what they're thinking. So we looked at, so all we did was just change the, change the um, conversation a little bit. So if you came in and I saw on your screen, Ryan, let's say that you had bought, y'all can hear me okay, right? Because Ryan was looking at me like, what is he doing? <laughs> I never know what he's doing out there. Um, so if I saw Ryan to come in and I saw on his screen that in the past, let's say he had bought uh, two boxes of trim sticks in the past. Well, Sundays we charge a little higher than retail on the online because we want people to go online. So if he was to come in buying that product, it's $47.95 from our store. So if I sit there and say, man, you ought to get in this business and he doesn't really know what this business is, it's going to be a dead conversation. He's going to sort of not even listen. So all we did was change the conversation. And we simply said, hey, Ryan, and especially this time of year when people are willing to listen, they're in good moods. I say, Ryan, I got to I got to explain something to you real quick. You know, you buy these trim sticks or you buy the ghost sticks, whatever you've been buying these from us. I want you to stop just for a second. I'm going to show you the best four dollar and five cent investment you can ever make. And then I pull in Nicola and say, well, heck, I'll pay for it part. All your, your ends four bucks. Let me show you what you do. You've been buying this for $47.95 here. So two boxes is going to cost you, you know, 96 bucks, you know, 95 and 95, whatever. And if you would invest $99.95, just $4 and a nickel more, you can still get two boxes, except they'll be sent straight to your door. And from that point on, you're going to get member prices, just like you went to Costco or BJ's or any wholesale club. So now instead of paying $47.95 here at Sundays, or $44.95 online, you're not going to be able to get the same box 
for $39.95. That's eight bucks savings. Plus, we have a little rebate type programs that give you an extra three bucks back on each box you purchase. So you're really saving 11 bucks. Now, I noticed you bought a Burns uh, caps in the past. You can buy those in the future here at Sundays for $49.95. But now as a member, you would pay $39.95 plus again, another $3 rate rebate. So you're really paying $36. So on those, you're saving, you can see how huge the savings can be. So Ryan, just on a couple of purchases there, you can save about 20 bucks. Now you can choose to spend $20 more and come pick them up from me and I'll hand them to you or, and spend your gas to come get them. Or we can have them delivered to your door and you'll save that 20 bucks and even though you may have no interest, but come January 1, I can show you a, a, a system that we have how you can earn extra income, whether it's just a part-time hustle to make a few hundred bucks a month or a few thousand dollars a month, because we have, we're part of a company, this, this product you've been drinking is part of a company where the CEO believes, let's create a million thousandaires. And you could be one of those thousandaires getting an extra thousand or two thousand a month coming into your household. Now, isn't it worth $4 and a nickel? And remember, I already paid the nickel, so I only got $4 left to make that investment from now on, knowing how much money you're gonna save every month. And last thing I'll say on it is New Year's resolutions coming up. The top two New Year's resolutions people have is number one, lose weight, and number two, make money or save money. And here's a situation where you can do both if you're so inclined. And so that's an easy yes decision for people to make. Now, the second step for Sue and I, or for anyone is now that they are a member, is now let's open the door and show them how to build that residual income. But in this time of year, we know people are a lot more prone to buy a product, be a customer, much simpler than enrolling someone in a business. Because from the old school years ago, you know, you think 10, 20, 30 years ago in this industry, people were going out. I know me when I started, all I wanted to do is enroll people. You know, I didn't, I didn't, want, I didn't want customers. I wanted to enroll people to build a business. And because you could think, see how it can multiply really quick. But if they don't really want to do a business, you're just fooling yourself. It's like me fooling myself if I spend all my time with a lady that spent a dollar with me instead of this other person over here because every minute I spend with that person who only spent a dollar with me. I don't care if she could be the nicest person in the world, but you know, most of the people I know in M, in fact, everybody I know in M almost, are friendships that were based on a business. They're not a business based on friendships. And it's a big difference because if we weren't in M, we'd all still be friends, but we wouldn't be associating with each other every day like we do now. So we have to keep in perspective. There's one thing to be friends with somebody and build a business, but we don't want to lose sight of we're here to build a business and build that legacy. Because if, if we're not, then we're fooling ourselves and we're fooling everyone and we're basically living a lie and we're never going to get to where we want to get. But when everybody's focused on that goal and that's what their um, you know, key mission is, then those things can happen. You can really change some amazing lives. Just like, you know, the story right before I spoke, you know, when she was speaking about her friend, I mean, those are tear jerking type stories that you realize don't happen if she never has that conversation. And so obviously we hope uh, the gentleman lives many, many years, right? And it's not days, but whatever it is, the quality of that life is better because someone took the time to have a conversation. And so when you believe 100% in your product, and I've always found that for me, when I'm selling something, if I, I'm a little bit shy about offering it, it's because I don't believe in it. And I've had products like that on the shelves that are tanning salons for, and I say, I gotta get that off. I just don't believe enough in it to sell it. But when you believe 100% in your product, you have no problem introducing it to everybody. And uh, I think that's where you start, whether it's Jamberry, Avisay, or, or M products. You literally get that confidence. I spoke 30 minutes on the phone with Dr. Tippleman about a, two weeks ago. I reached out to AJ Willoughby and said, send me uh, any of the videos. Where do I find the videos of the past conversations? So I said, I'm going to spend the next hour doing nothing but building up my belief so that when, this was a few weeks ago, so when I do talk to people, I can come across confident that what I'm saying about and what I believe in this company, where it's headed, and the products that we offer. So the app that y'all were talking about earlier, all these things, they just make the conversation easier. And so for someone who's listened to this, like I used to listen when other people would talk and let's say they were in some field, I'd be like, well, I'm not in Australia or I'm not, you know, I'd always find the reasons why I couldn't do what they're doing. Instead of thinking like, okay, maybe I don't own 21 tanning salons if you're hearing this, but you have to leverage what you, what's your strength. Because for Sue and I, if we were just go randomly talk to strangers, we could enroll people, but that's not using our strength at all. So for most people, it is that list they create, the, the family and friends. But for it may be something else. But whatever your strength is, what's your strong people look up to you, that is your tool to use to best leverage. And I'll end with this. Um, 
uh, years ago, I had a young lady come to my door selling Girl Scout cookies, and uh, and she was trying to win some kind of prize or trip. And uh, so I bought, you know, six boxes of cookies to help her out. Um, I think I bought another six next week. But anyway, bought the cookies, and I was thinking, like, how many had you sold? And she had sold, like, 18 that day. And I said, wow, you're doing great. And she was really hustling. But later that day, I went over to um, Harris Teeter, or Food Line, one of the grocery stores in our town, and there was a young girl selling Girl Scout cookies at the door. And I so everyone that came in and out. And I told her, I said, so I had to buy a box from her. And so I said, how many have you sold? And she said, I've sold 212 today. And all I could think about was like, this girl is sitting, not even standing, she's sitting in a chair, and she sold 200 boxes of cookies. And I got this other girl walking the whole neighborhood you know, just sell in less than 20. And all it was was leverage. You know, somebody working a little bit smarter than the other person knew how to work, and it was making all the difference. But yet, to the person who doesn't know, they're going to think, wow, this young lady worked 10 times harder than the other one, but not really. It was just use what her strength was. And so I think for people in this business that really want to build it, it's like, okay, what's my biggest strength? Where can I really make my assets pay off for me? And that's what... Um, I think, you know, in our customer base, that's one of ours here that we can use. And for like Sue, when she's cooking and, you know, she's an amazing cook and everybody knows that and she'll make incredible recipes and, and um, you know, bake some good things. But she'll use that as an advantage. Like you know, if we're going to have a meeting here on Thursday night and I want attendance up, I throw in there, hey, Sue's got so-and-so she's made tonight. And I know we're going to have 15 people come here just to eat. So um, use whatever you got, you know, leverage that to your best ability to help you build your business. And when you're you're in the right place and you know this is what I really want to do in my life and I'm excited about it, then learn everything about it. And like I said, for the corporate end, their job up there is just trying to get all these tools ready for us as we grow. And our end is as things come available and we have access to them is to get, tell that story, uh, publicize it and get it out to the public and then everybody wins in the end.